Hi, welcome back to Forwards. Just thought we'd start today's video a little bit different and show you the parts for John's bike before we build it. And then very shortly, we'll cut straight to the finished bike and then talk about it. So when we're doing a build, we actually do use this bench and lay out all the parts and it just makes the process of building it much slicker. So as you can see, it's going to be a Kinesis Titanium GTD with Altegra Di2 group set. So it's a 12 speed group set and just tucked in behind there are the hunt wheels. So the first job I'll do is get those hunt wheels ready. So I will catch you at the uh, end of the build and then give you a nice video tour of the build. See you, see you soon. Hello again, good morning. Uh, apologies for my, my dodgy voice. I have got a raging cold at the moment. I just wanted to spend some time, show you something slightly different today. This is John's bike. He's coming to collect it today. So as well as our own custom, custom bike brand forwards, we also do custom builds. So this is, um, this is a titanium frame, a Kinesis titanium frame. It's a GTD model, the road model. And as you can tell by the bike, John is very tall, hence why he has a 60 centimeter frame. So I'm gonna give you a quick run around it. He is due any second now. I've left the video quite late to do. So I'll run around it very quickly, just show you the specification of it. And if anyone's interested in a build like this, just give us a shout. So starting from the top, it's finished in Pro PLT finishing kit. So we've got a 110 stem on there. Uh, it's actually, sorry, it's a 100 stem. Uh, we've got the 42 PLT bar, which is a zero degree. And we've got our, our little chimney there. But the reason we've done this on John's bike is we're not entirely sure of his position yet. So I have set this up according to our bike fitting system with a road comfort setting. And then if we were gonna to go to the sport setting, we would decrease the this, this spaces here and then we'd extend it by 10 mil according to the fit data we have but I wanted to send him out with this. And then as soon as we know what, what he wants, then we will be able to modify the fit and then cut the steerer down accordingly. Of course, we will have our, our chimney there anyway. Um, so that's the, the top of it. Obviously carbon spaces, which um, I've just showed you. So those are there. Uh, bar tape, standard bar tape for us. BHT 16 on this one. So the 3.5 mil, he wanted a bit more comfort. So we went for that, even though it's a, a road bike, but I suppose this is more of a comfort road bike anyway, so that's more suitable. And it's finished in the figure of eight around the lever. And then we have done our, our matching tape at the end there. So that's, um, that's all nicely done, the same as all our bikes. Uh, while we're there, we might as well start with the group set. So it's fitted with the brand new Altegra 12 speed DI2 group set. So right shifters doing rear shifting, as you'd expect, up and down. Left shifters doing the front shifting up and down. And then as, as you'll know, the, the Altegra is wireless front shifting. And then that would bring us down to the Altegra DI2 front mech. And then the gearing on the bike. So John's uh, crank arms 172.5. And we've gone for compact for him. So this is a a 50-34 um, ring on the front, or ring should I say. And then we have got the 11, 11 34 12 speed rear cassette with obviously the 12 speed chain and then the Altegra Di2 mech rear derailleur. And then we've done our, our cable guide with the the A-ring down through the drop out there to keep that out of the way. And it works really nice on the Kinesis frames because it just holds this all, all nicely away and stops it sort of snagging there and then just holds it nicely away from the cassette and the chain. So that's why we do that. Um, we did go with uh, the Durace front strap um, for the, um, the Brazon. So the, the DI2 mech is obviously a Brazon, but we've gone for the 34.9 Durace um, clamp for the the main tube there to change it over because the the frame doesn't come with a braze on mount so just a little bit of detail there uh, while we're pointing we might as well look at the bottle cages so we've got the custom race plus stealth black cages which is our our favorite cages all stainless steel bolts and um, 
The frame actually comes with the same bolts as we used, but we have added more because there were some blind holes or blank holes, and we don't like leaving that because you'll get contamination on the thread. But here you'll see that we've just put the normal ones in there with the locking washer and the standard washer to protect the bottle cage so it doesn't pull into the bottle cage. So two bottle cages. Uh, we've sized him when we did his bike fit. So even with a titanium build, we still do the free bike fit included in the price. And um, we did a saddle fit for him as well. So this is a 152 Pro Stealth Performance. Very nice saddle. And then because of our OCD, we've matched his seat post to his finishing kit. So that's got the Pro PL2, uh, sorry, PL2, um, LT um, seat post. So we've got that there to match the front. And that's probably about it. Things like the, the details on the seat clamp, that's all standard stuff that come with the frame. Frame comes with a headset, which is the Kinesis one and in the carbon fork as well. Oh, I suppose I should talk about the wheels. Um, so we've got the, the Hunt uh, Four Seasons Super Dura disc wheels. We went for, went for those, they're a little, bit, a little bit heavier than some of the other Hunt wheel options, but we just wanted a bit of strength and longevity for him. So the roads that we ride on around here as a club are, are pretty battered. Um, and then we just would prefer to put an extra sort of 75 grams or so on each wheel just to get the extra strength there. So that's the wheels we've gone for. He is thinking about a second set of wheels. Maybe we can talk him into a nice carbon set. That would be nice. Um, and then we've got the Vittoria Rubino Pro tires, which we're really, really liking at the moment. And then we've put the 700 by 30 C on that one. So 730 C down there. That's what we've got. And set up tubeless. We're gonna teach him in a minute how to do tubeless. He's never had it before. He's a bit worried about it. So we're gonna set him up with a muck off um, tool kit to show him how to use that. So that's that. So it's more of a sort of plus, plus road frame really. So you could get a, a 32 in there. How uh, we're running the 30. Nice um, ratchet sound on these ones. If you know your hunt wheels, it sounds like a hunt wheel. So that's that. Um, should show brakes as well, of course. So it's got the old Tegra matching calipers, same as we fitted to Russell's bike last week, exactly the same group set package and same special offer. Uh, 160 rotors, these are the old Tegra slash uh, XT rotors, 160 millimeters. You have to put the little um, adapter kit in here. This is the proper Shimano adapter to take it from the 140 rotor up to 160 because this frame would take take the 140 if we wanted to. Uh, 550 SPDSL pedals, so we've gotten some new pedals. They're matching the Pinarello that we we serviced from last week. We put some new pedals on that for them as well. So that's that. Um, it, it does have anti-rattle in here, so we put the Capco anti-rattle inside all our frames. I'm surprised I haven't mentioned that yet on the videos, but there's a, a, a sheath inside there. It stops the tube banging against the inside of the tube. So on a build like this, you, you wouldn't expect any rattles or bangs. So that's just nice details. And then we've done the, the cable swap. So you've got the hose, or the hose swap, should I say. So the hose comes through underneath the frame and then through this side, and then we've entered it or exited it on the right-hand side. So it's got a nice swoop around the frame there so it's not scuffing the frame if we came out this side it would drag across the frame so we've we've done that there um, just a nice detail and these are what we were talking about we've just filling the holes up so there, there was a hole there but we've just put a matching stainless steel bolt in just to stop contamination getting in there and, and wrecking the threads um, so on the front just to finish off we've got the front Altegra caliper to match the rear obviously it's a group set and then the 160 front rotor, so matching front, it'd be a bit weird if you went small on there. Um, so that's probably about it. Uh, I'll just give a quick, quick sort of work around again of it, a walk around, and then um, give it one last polish just before he turns up. Quite exciting today, we've got more builds. I'm gonna get straight on the camera as soon as John's left with the next build um, to show you that. That's one of our own, which is pretty exciting. So um, there you go. Hopefully I've covered everything off and not forgotten anything. Um, oh, I've, I've forgotten something very quickly. Praxis bottom bracket down there. So Praxis bottom bracket, it's got the ABEC free bearing in. 
Um, we love those, as you know, if you've watched the videos. And what we do love about them is it's really easy to um, just swap the bearings over when they wear out. So that's it, still got my cold. I might sneak a lem slip in before he gets here and wait for the doorbell to go. But there we go, nice to hang out again. I will um, see you on the next video. Oh, this will be in a new, um, new series on the channel, by the way. Custom builds by forwards. Bye.